Syria has met today's deadline for declaring the details of its chemical weapons arsenal and the plan for their destruction. It is part of a strict timeline that aims to eliminate the stockpile by the middle of next year. The CPC's Marie-Ève Bedar is in Damascus and she joins me now with more on this story. So tell us the details of today's announcement. Well, the government has submitted the declaration of its uh, chemical weapons program to the United Nations and the OPCW organization. As part of this declaration, there is a plan for the destruction of their stocks of chemical weapons, but also the facilities to produce them. These details will be used now by the inspectors to put together a more thorough and detailed schedule for when the destructions uh, will have to happen. Now, all this information is going to be submitted to the Security Council, and within the next couple of weeks, we're going to know a little bit more of how quickly everything will be able to happen. They now have to determine also whether they will be destroying all of the chemical weapons stocks and the precursors they have here in Syria, or if they will choose rather to ship them to other countries to facilitate the work of the expectors that have to work under a very tight schedule, you've said it, but also under extraordinary circumstances. They've never been doing this work in the middle of a war zone, so there is talks right now of getting the weapons out to a third party where the inspectors could work with more security around them. So what is the broader timeline now then in all of this? What would the next step be? Well, from now, the facilities, most of them have been inspected. 18 out of 23 have received a visit from the inspectors. We will now have to begin the work of really dismantling uh, the facilities to produce, but also the stocks of chemical weapons. That should happen rather quickly uh, in its initial phase now. Syria has until the middle of next year, uh, in 2014, to complete this destruction. But already there's a second team of inspectors that is expected at some point this week to begin the work of really dismantling everything. Thank you for the very latest on this. The CBC's Marie-Ève Bedard in Damascus.